land in sort of, um, they will be in water that is maybe just slightly deeper than they are tall. And sometimes they'll doze off, sink to the bottom, and then they jump, they sort of push themselves off the bottom, up again, breathe out, sink down again, jump up, and they sort of doze like that. But I think if they truly are fast asleep, they go into water shallow enough that they can stand in it. Yeah, he's coming out. It's very nice to see. So, Louise, if you just won't com please confirm to me whether or not anyone has mentioned the lion and where he went. So laboured they always look, but they are so fast when they want to be. But, I mean, you can see exactly where that incredible song, Mud, Glorious Mud, comes from. And you can imagine a hippopotamus singing it. Isn't that cool? Now look how deep the mud is that he's sinking into. So it might look like you could walk across there, but you would sink very deeply into that mud, as he is, and that's why he's walking so very slowly. And Mitch in New York, a very nice question, because we know that some animals do, do exactly what you've said. You said, do hippos ever get stuck in the mud and die from being stuck in the mud? I imagine it's happened, um, but I don't think it's common. I think it's probably very uncommon. They've got very splayed feet. You can see the splayed toe, the toes there. That helps them not to sink in too deeply. Uh, they've got those short legs, so they don't stick, you know, if they sink all the way up to the edge of the elbow joint there in the front leg, their legs are so short that I imagine you can probably, they can probably pull them out if they have to. So unlike the impala or any of the antelope, which absolutely get stuck in mud like this, which have, they've got those sort of a very sharp pointed hooves with very long legs, and if you get one of those stuck badly, it's very difficult to get it out. And the hippo doesn't have that problem. Elephants get stuck in, in mud quite often, but normally just baby elephants. I think you'll find that hippo, because of their aquatic nature, are A, better adapted to it, and B, probably more capable of avoiding mud that's going to mire them. But you can see how gingerly he's walking. Very nice beautiful fellow. I'm trying to sex him, I'm pretty sure he's a male. Well, if he's a he at all, he's definitely a male, isn't he, Dave? <laughs> Normally how it works. I think that is a bull. I'm pretty sure it's a bull. All right, let's leave him to go grazing off towards the lodge and we'll continue back towards home.